The local pool in Cairns has never looked like this. Dozens of the country's fastest swimmers are going through their paces ahead of this month's Olympic Games. Welcome to Saturday in Cairns. It was dark this morning when we got up, but the sunrise at the pool was so pretty. The tropical city has been chosen to host the Olympians because its climate is similar to the Japanese capital at this time of the year. Swimmers have given Tobruk Pool the thumbs up. I've been very lucky to have a great base here and uh, training's been going really well. There's an amazing facility here for us and everything's been set up quite perfectly. We're enjoying being together as a team. Due to COVID-19 concerns, it's unlikely Cairns locals will see their favourite athlete at the next restaurant table. So we're still allowed to go out, walk around, get some sunshine, get some exercise, around, uh, walk around and get some coffee and stuff. Um, but if it's anything to do with uh, actually like mingling with the public or sitting down at places and actually interacting with the outside world, it's a no-go. That's not stopped athletes from giving fans a sneak peek of what they get up to when they're not training hard. Gold medalist Kate Campbell posting this shot of a different kind of pool. Backstroker Emily Seabom also offered an insight into her temporary home in Cairns. It's not only the swimmers that are temporarily calling Cairns home, dozens of athletes have also been training hard on the local tracks. It's a lot better than Sydney and I can wander out further than 10 kilometres from my house, so it's, it's been perfect for training. More than 400 Australian athletes are expected to compete in Tokyo in just under a fortnight. Christy Sexton-McGrath, ABC News, Cairns.